PowerPoint mostly with the computer tied in overhead and we shoot shoot there. And uh, basically um, what we have up here is we have room for 24 students. We talk about all the fundamental basics of operation of the engines, blocks, cylinders, valves, pistons, rods, crankshafts, and so on. And it's very intensive. They're going to live in this classroom for the next two months, three hours a day, and then they get off their butts and they go out in the shop for three hours a day, so six, six hours. So that's not too bad. I'm just going to open the window here. right away and they'll all fall asleep on me. <laughs> so I gotta have air. I gotta have air. Yeah. Um, you sound like you would be a very good teacher. He is extremely in my opinion. Yeah. So back here is we have our show and tell items um, where we'll, we'll we'll take blocks apart and our heads apart and we'll cut and we show how things work and we'll we'll, we'll discuss it and discuss what kind of things we need to get them to know from crankshafts to camshafts, head gasket problems, just about every kind of related problem with pistons, <laughs> rods that didn't quite make the green, <laughs> and detonation. I'll be talking this morning about detonation and pre-ignition, abnormal combustion, and the you know octane rating and just yeah, perfect. Here's was one of the pistons we lost a couple of months ago when uh, the student zigged when he should have zagged, was listening, was, was talking when he should have been quiet. And uh, <laughs> we talk about superchargers and forced induction, Tur turbos. I spend a week on turbochargers and supercharging. I love the subject because the students are really interested in it and they start getting all the high performance aspects. Um, we give them all kinds of lectures and theory and talk on oils, viscosities. That's off a smart car. You shouldn't say that those two words in the same sentence. This is a turbo off a smart car. That's a turbo off a smart car. Oh, it's so cute. It's, yeah. <laughs> so we talk about oil. <laughs> we talk about oils, and we talk about the different problems we have with the oils. We talk about yeah. cooling systems, like uh, different antifreeze and different chemistry that we need to. Then we give them hundreds and hundreds of quizzes right behind you. You, you just have quizzes after quizzes after quizzes after quizzes, and this is only half. Yeah. And uh, every day they get a quiz. So, um, how many years you been teaching? Thirty-five years. Thirty-five years. Yes. Yeah. Well, you don't know exactly what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> I've been mechanicing for thirty-two years. Yeah. Well, I've been a mechanic. Um, Let's see, 35 and 8. Geez, you must be 60. I'm exactly 60. Yeah. I just turned 60 a month ago. Yeah. Yeah, I bet you've seen it all. Well, close. Bet we've, had a, we've had a lot of problems with uh, disease and sickness and coughing and uh, H1N1 viruses up here. It's, oh, really? Yeah, and uh, it spreads quite quickly in the classroom. So. Uh, one thing that you should note be noteworthy, every classroom has now got the hand sanitizer unit so that every time you go anywhere, somebody sneezes, the classroom is sneezing, uh, we start stop the class, everybody wipes their hands, everybody wipes their nose and face, and we've reduced uh, absenteeism like 40%. Oh, really? Just by wow. this, this flu alone. Just so doing keep that? Keep them going. They're just not getting sick with the flu. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Isn't that something? Just, just by just by the uh, hand cleaner. That's pretty small. The alcohol. Yeah. yeah, well, it's so important that they're in school because they got exactly 240 hours of training. And if they miss uh, up to 18 hours, they're, they're kicked out. Oh. And they have to re reapply to come back in. So that could change their whole life for a year, right? And so it's really, really important that they're not sick and they come to school, they're on time, they're here every day, and they pay attention and they pass their grades are also out, just like that, they're out, because we got a whole bunch behind them waiting to get in, so don't screw around. <laughs> so it gets a little hard and tough, but after a while they, they accommodate it okay and they're, they're with it. Okay.
I'm coming up to the time where I I'm I would, to... Well, I'd like to thank you. Oh, you're quite welcome. Thank you very uh, well, much. I hope to see you very uh, before you go. Um, Greg and I were going to try and get together. Um,